The amount of time that people are in hospital for their assessment varies greatly and that's due to the fact that everyone is an individual and will have had different experiences leading up to admission into hospital. The care team are very keen for you to spend the least amount of time in hospital possible and from the day of admission we will be working closely with you and your family and carers towards planning a safe discharge. What we'd expect is um, for you to be involved in your treatment and care, be part of that and understand what we as a team are aiming to do to support you in your recovery. There are certain elements towards uh, recovery which uh, of one, the main one being endeavouring to maintain and improve your independence while you're with us. Whilst you're in hospital, it's important that you're able to carry on doing as many of the everyday sorts of things that you would normally be doing at home. Those things are, are important for you to be able to carry on doing. So we do have lots of different resources that we have available to support you so that you can um, take part in leisure activities and hobbies. One of the things that we will find out when you come to the ward is what sort of interests and hobbies you have so that we know how you like to spend your time as much as possible. We'll try to support that and um, provide help for you to be able to engage in those sorts of things that you enjoy doing. Your assessment helps us to build a picture of who you are and potential things that may have impacted on your health and well-being um, leading um, up to your admission to hospital. Um, we'll talk to you and people close to you such as your family and carers to look at what your normal level of functioning is when you're at home. We may look at things that you enjoy doing, things that are normal to you. Um, because we want to rule out any possible factors that may have impacted on your health and well-being leading up to your admission. From admission we're going to be working closely with you and your family and carer and anyone else that may have been involved in supporting you prior to admission such as a care coordinator who would be a community worker who would have supported you um, into hospital and will remain with you and support you through the discharge process. If there hasn't been anyone involved in your care prior to admission then we'll make sure that someone is allocated to support you and your family and carer through the journey of admission through to discharge. It's possible to have time on your own. You'll have your own room uh, with an ensuite bathroom to give you a space that you can call your own um, and having your own room you've got the ability to do that. We've also got lots of lounges and outdoor space that you can find a quiet space to be on your own. We want to ensure as far as possible that you that your likes and dislikes and your normal routines are adhered to. We'll work very closely with you and your family to find out your preferences and one of the things we do is build up a bit of a picture about you that we called we call a life history um, book just so we can ensure that we're giving you the care that you would like to receive. Um, we cater to everyone's individual needs. So the expectation really is, is that you will, in, you will work with us and we'll work with you to enable your recovery in some shape or form whilst you're with us. Mm -hmm.